Raiders enforcer Corey Horsborough failed in his bid to have the first-degree shoulder charge ban lifted in NRL jurisdiction. The match review committee offered Horsborough three weeks to hit Corey Jensen in final minute of the Raiders' 2,918 loss to Broncos in Canberra. But the failed appeal means Ricky Stewart will now miss four games and effectively end his season. Unless his men make an unexpected attack on the grand finale. Teams from round 27 carnage in final round as the heavyweights rock teams Reed Walker denies. Rabito's ridiculous claims read explosive roosters linked to leaked Luttrell text legend showing seven angles of the shot. It took only 10 minutes for the panel to reach a guilty verdict. Corey Horsborough during the Raiders against the Broncos. Player Horsborough goes out of line at a forward and diagonal angle. You see that neither contacting right arm nor the left arm is out to encircle or interfere with. Player. Player Horsborough is touching his right shoulder or upper arm. At least it was careless. Confusion about Gus Raider's season but Sydney lawyer Nick Gabbar, who defended Horsborough, argued that contact came from the Raider's chest, not Raider's shoulder. The contact was made by ribcage, even though it was a contribution from shoulder. That wasn't main cause of collision. He said. He tried to use both of his arms he didn't make high contact. So he wasn't careless. In Bronco's final six sets of the night, Horsborough rushed outside Raiders' line to give Jensen a shot. Unpunished in live play. It was the only stoppage that allowed Horsborough to go off target and give Jensen a playing field.